Okay. Um, okay. I need... Thought so. Okay. Defense. So I'm gonna need boy down there. Okay, be wary of him. Oh crap. Uh move most of these guys up farther. Cause of course his movement range is just perfect. So that we won't be able to defend against him very well. Nafini, I want you to be good, but you're not. So this was okay. Kind of worried. It's not easy chapter. Okay, yeah, bring it on. Crap. No. Uh, this is not joyful. Why did he have to be smart and attack from the wrong way? Did you love a vulnerary? Because that'd be perfect. Uh, skill speed lookers. Is that the first level we've gotten in this level? No, not even cl What am I talking about? Oh, okay, we have a vulnerary. That's okay. Alright, we're set. Okay, who can you attack? Do not let him attack Marcia. Or Nafini. Okay, here's hoping. Well, come on, I was hoping that'd be the last of them. Is the Laguz guard just work when I'm when I'm not attacking? It works when they attack me. Is that it? I think so. Secret book. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Two. Okay, Rolf, I really want, I would prefer you kill him. Can Boyd, like, not quite kill him with the bow? Perfect! Boyd is the man. There goes Rolf, slaying them, the boss. How did I forget the word boss? That is just pathetic. Thank you. No speed though. Blue gem. I like that. Oh, here's the decision. Oh, never mind. You snipe you. Level six. Jeez, Oscar, why are you so awesome? It's astounding. Soren heal. All right. 
Um, wait, is that the last guy? Stop hitting that button. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> and Jill, select him. Do it. Yes. Victory. Yes. What? That's annoying. Is everyone all right? I'll check on injuries. <laughs> Those crows made fierce opponents. Nasir, how's the ship? Completely immobilized. We can't shake free of this reef. I feel useless just waiting around here. There has to be something I can do to help. Do, do, do. Where are you going? Should you be leaving the ship? I'm not getting done sitting around here. I want to go ashore and see what I can see. What? Hold on, Ike. You can't. That's... Ah, Ike, behind you! You there, what are you doing? Huh? This could be trouble. Uh oh Who's these guys? This is Goldoan territory. Outsiders are not permitted. No, wait, you don't understand. Our ship is run aground. There's nothing we can do. We're stuck here. Then return to your ship. What happens to Bjork is none of our affair. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. You're a complete... You've been warned. You will not be warned a second time. Ah! Cease this at once. What do you think you're doing? My, my lord prince, man of the Bjork, my countrymen are discourteous. I ask that you forgive them. Who are you? I'm Kurth Naga, prince of Goldoa. The prince? Now we're getting somewhere. Next to some kill us pirates, our ships run aground. Can you lend us any help? What is it? You can't help us, can you? I'm not used to being addressed in such a direct manner. I was taken off guard. My apologies. No, I didn't. If anyone should apologize here, it's me. My father had a great deal to say about my lack of etiquette. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Please, pay it no mind. I'm more concerned with the misfortune your journey has met. Of late, the ravens have grown ever more barbarous. Barbarous. I don't know how you pronounce that. And this cannot stand. My father will lodge a formal protest with Kilvis, I assure you. In the meantime, we shall help you with your ship. Gareth, direct the others to push their ship free. At once! <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> Dragons! They're all dragons! They're huge and so strong! It's incredible! It's overwhelming. Yeah, it is. Goldoa is the land of dragons. More than any other long Lagoose tribe, they are known for their longe longevity. Wait, how do I... I don't know. I've heard tales of Goldoans still living who flew the skies when the goddess herself still walked the land. How is it you know so much about Goldoa? Everything I've learned comes from books. Goldoa itself no longer has any contact with the outside world. Seeing them now, it's like a dream. So this is good fortune, is that what you're saying? She's saying we got lucky. For once, your recklessness actually got us out of trouble. What's that supposed to mean? We moved your ship safely and, we'll, and without harm to you or your vessel. My subjects tell me your ship was indeed lodged against a reef. However, there was no structural damage to your ship. You need not interrupt your journey. That's good news, thank you. Is there anything else to require? If you need food or fresh water, we can replenish your supplies. That would be most appreciated. We are beginning to run low on water. As for food, any fruit, meat, fish, anything fresh would be wonderful. It shall be done. Oh, crap. I skipped stuff. I know that Goldoa does not engage in trade with other nations, but, other nations, but will you accept gold in payment? Do not worry about payment. But you've done so much for us when, we could, when you could have left us to die out there. We must repay you somehow. Sweet courtesy is ever the herald of hospitality. Will this suffice to explain my actions? Hospitality, isn't that for guests? As you know, Goldoa prefers isolation. We rarely see foreigners, especially Bjork, and even more rarely do we treat with them. Chance has brought us together and I'm grateful for this opportunity. In fact, I wish we could feast a while and converse. However, my father would never allow it. You can't expect us to accept so generous a gift, but I do. I insist that you consider it a personal gift from, the Go from Goldoa's prince. 
However, I have made you uncomfortable, so if you, fe if you feel you must decline... No, of course not. We will be happy to accept your gift. We appreciate it. So please do understand. I, Captain Nasir wants to depart as soon as possible. Understood. Well then, I beg your leave. Prince Kurthnaga, I won't forget your kindness. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Take care. I feel bad about skipping that little bit of dialogue there. <laughs> Farewell, Bjork. May your journey be safe. That it? Yes? No? Nope. My lord Ike, is something amiss? First those ravens attack us, and then the, a band of Goldowan dragons rescues us. I can't understand how they are all considered lagoos. Is that strange? No, I see what you're saying. Just as there are both good and evil Bjork, there must be good and evil lagoos as well. But they are so distinct in appearance, it is tempting to assume each race is, as a whole, intrinsically good or evil. Aye, that is. The beast tribes of Galia and the dragons of Goldoa seem so honorable. And the birds of Kilvis and Phoenicia seem so cruel. It seems so easy to reduce them all to good or evil. I'm sure it can't be as simple as that. Look at us, Bjork. Dayans are evil and Crimeans are not. It's as simple as that. Well, wait. There were, pre there were those prejudiced fools we met in port. They weren't all that honorable. Maybe you're right. Much of what seems good and evil is simply a matter of perspective, Ike. Many conditions affect our judgment. Drawing a definitive line is nigh impossible. Nasir, where have you been? You vanished without a trace. I am uncomfortable around dragons. I thought it would be better if I stayed below in my cabin. My apologies. Now that you mention it, Soren seems to have disappeared as well. Have you seen him? Perhaps he's feeling nauseated. For one unaccustomed to sea travel, it's not uncommon. Right. I think I'll check up on him later. The wind is picking up. I believe I will go and check on the condition of our sails. Keep yourselves warm up here. It's a chill wind with that blows in these waters. Princess Silencio, you should be returning to your cabin. What about you, my Lord Ike? I'll stay on deck a while longer. I have a lot to think about. Would you mind if I stayed here with you? I don't want to be any bother. Hmm? It's alright with me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I guess that's it. So that is the end of chapter 12. And I guess the second half of the recording part of it was about half an hour. So not too bad. So anyway, thank you for watching and watching me fail at that chapter twice. Uh, alright. See you next time for chapter 13. I'm not going to bother trying to go through the battle log anymore because I keep skipping it. So I figure why bother. So, uh, until next time. See you guys later.